All right, so in this video, I want to take a look at this hand-blown glass bird feeder. So check out a couple of detailed images, and then we'll look at what's included and take a little closer look at the actual bird feeder. Alright, so as stated, we're taking a look at this bird feeder. It's built for or designed for hummingbirds. And this is the box that it comes in. It does come with uh, styrofoam encapsulating the unit. And I've got two of those that I've ordered. And both of them arrive without damage. So they packaged it fairly well, I would say. Uh, you've got some information provided on the actual box. And some instructions on the box. It's actually quite simple. Uh, I didn't well I didn't look too in detail but I don't think that there was any kind of uh, recipe per se for uh, hummingbird food but essentially it's one part sugar four parts water and of course it'd be like warmer water so that the uh, sugar can dissolve and you just want to use like the type of sugar normal sugar that you would use uh, table sugar you don't want to use like powdered sugar and you don't want to add food dye or anything to it. So we've got the unit over here, but before we take a little closer look at that first, let me show you what's included with it. So you have this sort of rope or string that has these little uh, like flowers, leaves. So that's actually kind of cool. So that's included with it, I suppose, depending on how you want to hang it up, of course. Uh, you have a metal S hook and you have another metal S hook, but this one has this um, ant moat or a little trough of sorts so when this is hanging you fill this with water and if ants are trying to get to your actual bird feeder they're going to get trapped here instead of being able to overcome and get to it and that's going to be great of course you don't have to worry about that as much then you have this little portion here which is basically just a little clean brush and this is actually designed so that you can clean each of the individual holes where the hummingbird will actually eat, uh, eat from. So that fits right in like that. And you can clean that out periodically. Uh, ideally, you would clean these out uh, every few days uh, at the very least, just so you don't have to worry about mold or things like that. So as you can see, and this is actually quite heavy duty. Um, it's not a super thin glass, which I, I thought it would be a much thinner glass than it is. So it's actually, you know, very interesting and because they're hand blown glass each one should have a minor uh, variation so it's going to be unique you're going to have one of a kind essentially because no two are going to be 100 percent identical even if they're extremely similar uh, it's you know because of the hand blown aspect uh, it holds i believe 32 ounces and what i really like about this is like, again the solid glass build the inclusion of the uh Ant moat and the cleaning brush are really nice. Uh, just maintenance and not having to worry about it as much. And then what I also like is this portion. It's not plastic. Like a lot of them are plastic. So the little uh, flowers are uh, metal. You have the top portion of the containment for the actual uh, fluid when you turn it you know, back up and it's hanging. And then you have the perching uh, resting area for the bird, and that's made of metal. And on the bottom, of course, you do have uh, plastic here. That's the only plastic. So basically, you've got the plastic portion there that's got the threaded base. And then this, again, is all metal construction. 
So I really appreciate that. And then you have the glass itself. Again, you can see how thick that is. And it's, of course, threaded as well. So all you have to do is stick your water and sugar mixture in and let it hang up. Uh, again, I've got two of these, but I have this one in here so I can show you. Unfortunately, I can't seem to capture any hummingbirds at the moment, so I can't include those in the video, unfortunately. But, you know, again, it's very simple. Just hang it, and hopefully you'll have a great deal of enjoyment watching the hummingbirds as they come and feed off of the bird feeder. But that's it. I just you know, wanted to go over the construction materials, what's included, and oh, there is a nice rubber ring right there, so it's really soft, and it fits over, it fits over this, uh, the outer ring of the plastic, so you could pop that off for cleaning if you needed to for some reason, and then you just make sure slide it all the way on all the way around till it's properly seated and that's going to give you a really good seal and then once you've filled it just tighten that back up and then you're ready to go and you can hang it I would definitely suggest using the ant moat but that's pretty much all there is to it uh, I just wanted to give you an overview of this one, the other one. Uh, my parents actually have it at their home, and they're happy with it as much as I am with mine. Uh, but yeah, little ant moat. That's a pretty cool addition. Uh, a lot of the ones that I've seen that my parents had in the past did not include that. So that's pretty much it. Very solid glass and very solid metal construction means it should last a long time and that's what I really appreciate about this and it's actually I think very reasonably priced at least at the time of this video okay so if you want to find out more about this anything I haven't talked about that you know is relevant to you you can look at the link below the video and reference that otherwise thanks for watching